Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video, we are going to learn about how we can use Google as an authentication service in our Ionic app. A console application, I mean a, a simple application, I would say, where you can see a login button on the law and uh, that's it. I mean, if I click, it doesn't do anything. All right, so we'll do everything from scratch. So let's log into Firebase console, create a new project. All right, so maybe I can give uh, my first project or I can give any name, let's say demo app. All right, so that's app name I have given. For now, I can disable this, create project. All right, you can see now it's created. So let's click on continue. Let me scroll a little bit and you can see there is a card authentication. I click on it and let's click on get started for now I'm enabling Google authentication so let me click on this and enable okay let me type something demo app let me select my account email ID and save Can see this Google authentication is enabled let me click on this gear button and you know click on the project setting you can see everything is set up all right so let's go back to this uh, Google Cloud console let me refresh it or I should be able to see I think yeah you can see <clears throat> No, the project is still not showing here. Let me refresh it. All right, so I missed one step. Okay, so I need to scroll a little down and there is a, uh, it's showing right now there are no apps attached to this uh, project. Okay, so let me create a app for Android. I mean, let me add a Android app, give, we need to give some name like and say com dot demo app let me copy this and here i can say demo app all right we need to provide this signing key uh, which we can do later as well all right so right now i'll say register all right so now we need this file as well uh, we'll download for now, but we'll use it once we, you know, con start configuring for the Android application. First, I'll show you uh, how we can make it work the web application. All right, let's click on next. Next, done. All right, so now you can see the app is listed over here. I'm in demo app. Let me go back to the Fire Console. I mean. Google Cloud Console this time and if I click on this drop down I should be able to see this demo app all right I selected that click on this app and services if this link is not available you click on this icon and go inside uh, uh, more products and you should be able to see the similar icons over here I mean similar links all right so let me click on API and services click on credentials and we need to you know click on this web client our application running on 4200 so let's change this port number and copy this client id and save Okay, so the client ID which we have copied, we need to paste in our solution. So I'm going inside index.html and I'm just pasting here. 
there is one more step we need to do which I have for the application I forgot it let me go back to Firebase console and I need to add one more app here here also I'll say demo app I'm not hosting it because I'm running this app on my local machine and this is the configuration which I was looking for so let me copy this and I need to paste this also in my solution so I'll replace these keys All right, so that's pretty much for the web, web application. Let me stop this and restart the solution again. All right, so now you can see that our application is up, uh, up and running. And if I click on this login button, I should be able to see this Google login form and I can select any email ID and I should be able to authenticate and you can see I redirect to home page. All right, now I'll show you one more thing from the uh, backend. So this is the access token which I'm printing in the console application, which you can use to call your web services. So if I refresh this page, automatically it will use the, you know, uh, ID token and create a new, I mean, using the refresh token, it will generate a new access token. And this access token is valid for one hour. All right, so maybe I'll show you the code for that first. For that, we need to go to login services. Alright, so this is the method which I was talking about refresh method so I am calling the same method from app component so whenever you are refreshing the application this will this method will be called and it will regenerate the um, uh, access token if if the ID token is valid ID token has a pretty good uh, expiry date expiry time I would say and the, so what you can do you can use the same method to regenerate the access token every one hour all right and this is the method which i'm using for the logging uh, showing the logging form and what i do it, it this form will be giving you the id token and using this id token i generate the first access token all right so that's pretty much about the web app now let's configure for the android application let me close all of this minimize this and you can see there is no android project so let me add that project now So I use this uh, Ionic uh, capacitor add Android command. All right, so, so my mistake, let me go back to this uh, capacitor file. If this file is not there, you need to, you know, execute uh, npx uh, cap init command so that will generate this capacitor config file empty file and then what you can do and after that you can just you know create this section google auth and then scope is nothing but email and the profile and the service client id which we need to enter just now so that i can paste directly from this index.html which i have uh, pasted it some time ago so I'll just copy the same and paste in this service client ID that is why it, I was getting the error so there are two files I need to put it here all right similarly I need to add the app ID also which I have entered if you might have seen um, while creating the Android app all right so I'll go back to the Firebase console and click on this Android app and I'll download this I think I already downloaded that's pretty fine and this is the uh, you know package name which I'm looking for so let me copy this and paste it here all 
all right let's save everything and hit this command again i hope this time it should work All right, so now Android project is created. As you can see over here, let me open this app and SRC folder, the main and then resource. And under values, you will see something called string.xml. There we need to add that entry as well. So we need to add the entry over here. And let's copy the same client ID and paste that as well also here. Okay now for the google to work uh, inside the android application what we need to do we need to uh, you know drop this uh, google services file which we downloaded inside app folder android app and you can see um, i dropped it over here okay google services.json file all right so once you do that uh, you have to build your solution And the SHS file you can also create it that SHA um, you know key so you that key using the key tool and that key tool will be available uh, inside this uh, you know JDK folder so this is the path for that and execute this command it will ask for the I mean if since you are uh, creating the debug file using the debug keys key so the password of that is nothing but Android and normally when you go for the production you definitely you'll use the uh, you know your uh, production key Now you can see the code is built. Let's sync it. All right, so let's open the solution in Android Studio. Okay, so now it's running. Let's push this app to this uh, emulator launching the app and the app is up and running all right so you can see it's showing the same login button over here when I click on it it's showing the uh, Google login form I'll select my email ID. Hopefully, it should log in. Yeah, you can see a user is logged in and showing the home page. If I click on account, it should show my name and the my profile picture, which I'm fetching from the Google account. And one more thing I want to show you like, let's say if you want to debug this, what you can do, you can use this uh, inspect link let me show you so you can see this app is running let me duplicate this and so this is the url for that uh, you can see chrome slash inspect devices let it load and you can see it's showing the same emulator over here if i click on inspect i get a debugger window and i get this same access token which i was showing from the web app all right so that's pretty much about this video thank you very much